Hello everyone, my name is Robinson and in this video I'm going to create awareness and this is for education purpose only. And in this case, you're going to see how the dark web works and how credit cards, your credit card can be used and money being stolen from that credit card or a debit card. You need to take care of that credit card. Once you lose it, report to the near to your bank so that they can be able to block it. Otherwise, your funds can be in danger. In this case, you are going to see how these cards are sold on or in the dark, the dark web or the dark or the black market. So hackers get to access these cards. They buy them cheaply and access a lot of money from rich people who have disposed, have lost, or they have their cards been stolen. So you always need to be on check. Immediately your card, you have lost your card or it has been misplaced, report to the bank and it's uh, and it's blocked. So in this case, you need to have Linux. For those who are interested in cybersecurity, you need to have Linux to access the dark web uh, operating system, install Tor browser, or for those who are using Tail operating system, which is anonymously, by, and you can be able to use it on, on, on a pen drive, you can access this thing. Once you have opened a Tor browser, you can use a search engine that is mainly in the dark web, known as Torch Search Engine. And for those who had joined the previous uh, video, we had looked at Torch Search Engine and the forums where you can be able to communicate with other hackers in the dark web. So under this Torch Search Engine, we can be able to open and access the .onion browser, which redirects to the dark sites. So the Torch, operate, uh, the Torch search engine look, has this particular interface. This is just a graphic, but the URL to access it is this one. So you need to copy and open a new tab, paste it and click enter to access the Torch search engine. That Torch search engine comes with all dark web sites from pornographic sites, uh, sites where you can buy credit cards, debit cards, uh, sites where you can be able to even access uh, files uh, from governments, etc. In this case, you can be able to see that we are in the dark web itself and the url is dot onion and dot onion browser is which now gets to unearth all kind of files around the internet you can be able to see these sites uh there are sites where even you can be able to buy uh anything you need from the internet and this is purely illegal and not recommended so i'm doing this under huge disclaimer and to keep you aware so don't use your cards and once you lose your cards make sure you con contact your bank so that that card is blocked otherwise the information can be sold in these forums like for instance this one is known as black market i'll open it into another tab and again i will open even this one escrow marketplace so and i can say click continue the same to this one click continue okay so once that is done you'll be able to see that the shop has been not made and to put a disclaimer most of these sites you will find in as far as they say they sell cards they are scam so those people who we might go to try to buy these cards and access the money that they are selling there you can be able to see that you will never even get response, especially for this particular site. You won't get any response. The money, your money will just be scammed. You'll be scammed the money by these people. So you can be able to see even the dark web. The dark market has drugs. They can be able to sell drugs, iPhones, and all that as cheap prices. You can be able to see this one, fast transfers. There are people who can be able to sell even PayPal accounts. Your accounts are hacked. Gift cards, people selling gift cards. We have this as hidden cards. Let's click hidden cards. The same to this particular website. You can be able to see 
This one, they are called prepaid and croned cards. They take the photo of your credit card or debit card. Then they use the machine to create a card that they can use it in any ATM. They can just take the details from your ATM and print to a plastic card, which is called carding. And now they can use it to any nearest ATM. So it's important to keep your information safe. So your cards can be stolen and be sold here. Let's see uh, this other one they have opened here. You can see like for here, they say there is a card that they can ship. That card has 500 USD prepaid visa and you buy it at $59. There is a card with 1,000 US dollars and they can sell it to you at $99, etc., etc. You can be able to see now how dangerous it is if you misplace your credit card or debit card and have it accessed. Have it accessed by hackers or the people who want to make sure that you are not good. So this is a disclaimer. Once you have the credit card, debit card stolen, misplaced it, or you have just lost it, ensure you call the bank to have that card blocked. Otherwise, it is dangerous. You might have even your cash stolen. And that's how they happen to be sold at black market or under the dark web. You can be able to see these cards are stolen. Like you had, somebody can even take a picture of your credit card or debit card, and they use these machines to generate a, a, an exact card. And they can go to a nearest ATM, no matter the place in the part of the world, and withdraw the money. So guys, always be safe and take care. Be aware of how the dark web, web uh, works. I'm going to release all the cybersecurity tips on how you should keep yourself safe from things around internet, especially the dark web, etc. For those who are interested in cybersecurity, kindly stay tuned. I'll be releasing even more on coding and scripting coming soon. Stay tuned. Thank you.